And a very pleasant good afternoon and welcome to another special event here at the Northridge Center. It's a great afternoon, it's a great sunny day, and of course, Dr. Harrison, see sunshine, of course. We'd like to welcome you all. This is an outstanding turnout, and we, we appreciate your support of CSUN Athletics, and we hope that you can attend a game. It's a family environment. It's great for the family. It's great for kids, family, and friends. It's a great event to go to, 19 sports here at CSUN. We hope you will uh, attend many events next year, 2014-2015. Last year, about the same time, under the dynamic leadership of CSUN President Dr. Diane Harrison, we announced the appointment of Dr. Brandon Martin as the university's director of intercollegiate athletics, taking CSUN athletics to a whole new level. And in just one season under Dr. Martin's leadership, enthusiastic sellout crowds prevailed at men's and women's basketball games, a sizable increase in attendance that featured not only students, but also members of the community, filled many of the other sports venues where CSUN competes in 19 sports on the major college level, NCAA Division I. Going to a Matador game, as I said, is a great way to spend an afternoon or an evening with family and friends. It's a great opportunity to see some outstanding student athletes. Student athletes compete at the NCAA Division I level. Today, we are here at the Northridge Center to celebrate another major announcement. CSUN Intercollegiate Athletics would like to announce the launch of a new visual identity that modernizes Matador Athletics and reflects the history, the current success, and the future aspirations of the athletic department. The many accomplishments both on and off the field during the athletic year and the academic year in 2013 and 2014 would not have been possible without the dynamic vision and the determined spirit of CSUN President Dr. Diane Harrison and CSUN Director of Intercollegiate Athletics Dr. Brandon Martin. Dr. Harrison attends many sporting events here at CSUN. She has provided the inspiration to CSUN's goal to rise to the top of the Big West Conference and nationally as well. Please give a round of applause, a matador round of applause for CSUN President, Dr. Diane Harrison. First of all, thank you very much and good afternoon. I am so impressed with this many people who are here and excited by intercollegiate athletics at CSUN. When I first arrived here, one of my priorities among several, seven to be exact, was I wanted to use athletics as a tool for engagement. And I think that you will see just in the room here today that it works, it helps. People get excited, people have pride and loyalty. And I am very thankful for Dr. Martin for agreeing to come and, and take the reins and take the spirit and energy. I think the rise of the Matador Pride campaign is a very important and an exciting next step for us. Our new athletic identity is bold it reflects that the Matadors are truly on the rise. The new identity speaks to and stays true to our legacy of more than five decades of athletics, athletic excellence, and communicates our strong momentum of excitement and success. And over the past year, our student athletes have demonstrated excellence in both the classroom and in competition. Just a few examples. 29 of our student athletes were named to the Big West Conference All Academic Team in 2013 and 14. The women's volleyball and the women's basketball teams won the Big West Championships this past season. Women's volleyball earned their first NCAA tournament win with a victory over Colorado State. Men's soccer ranked as high as number three in the nation the highest in CSUN history. And in addition, 
The team made their second consecutive appearance in the Big West Final, their second consecutive NCAA tournament match at Matador Soccer Field, and our men's soccer player, Saji Lavari, made first team All-American and semifinalist for the Mac Herman Trophy. That's huge. In addition, our men's basketball team appeared in the Big West Final for the first time since 2009. Our women's water polo ranked number seven and appeared in the Big West Final. The softball team earned two all-region selections, their first such selection since 2007, and the first player on the first team since 2004. It was also the fourth time since 2000 that the softball team reached 30 wins. For the first time since 2004, women's golf was represented at the NCAA tournament by Big West Player of the Year, Clarice Gousset. And both women's golf and women's track and field finished second in the Big West. And just in the last couple of days, our women's four by 100 relay team have made it to the national finals. Yeah, really. <laughs> but I have to tell you what I am most proud of, and that is our 70 plus athletes who were inducted into the N Club for their academic performances, our men's basketball team hitting a perfect 1,000 APR, our academic progress rate. It is our academic success on top of our athletic success that will truly carry CSUN and our athletes into the record books. That is what I am really most proud of. I love to win probably as much as most everybody in this room. But when I say win, I want to win in the classroom and in competition. So as you can see, we've had lots of successes this past year. We have a tradition of excellence and competitiveness in Matador athletics, and it will continue. And you always hear about, wait till next year. Well, I can't wait. <laughs> I am dying for next year to start. We have potential around every single corner, every single corner, and it's great. And it is a way for our community, our campus community, our students, those neighbors and friends and supporters to become engaged with our university in ways that perhaps they wouldn't otherwise. So it is my sincere hope that we will all wear the new identity with pride. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Harrison, and uh, I'm going to use that line, winning in the classroom and winning on the playing field. That's a true def definition of a student athlete. We would now like to uh, give you a distinctive look, a fresh look, an exciting look at what's going to be new at CSUN, a first look at the rise of the Matadors. Exciting times ahead. One team, one goal, one Matador. Be a witness to the rise of the Matadors.
Be a witness to the rise of the Matadors. Now's the time. We are all witnesses to the rise of the Matadors. Matadors, rise up. And there you have it, the first look at the rise of the Matadors. Exciting times ahead. There are certainly is going to be some exciting times, some exciting games, some great moments in athletics here at CSUN. At this time, I'd like to welcome the catalyst behind the new, the new direction of CSUN Athletics. Since his arrival last year, Dr. Brandon Martin has directed innovative ideas that have pushed Matador Athletics to numerous victories, not only on the playing field with improved playing venues, a significant increase in monetary donations, a closer bond between the academic community here at CSUN, and an increased fan affinity in the community, and most importantly, increased success in the classroom for student athletes. Let's give a warm round of applause, a matador round of applause for the leader of Cal State Northridge Athletics, our Director of Athletics for CSUN, Dr. Brandon Martin. Thank you. Thanks, Bob. Matadors, it's our time to stand up. This is our time. Let's take ownership of having pride and being a matador. I'm delighted to be here this afternoon to celebrate this historic day in CSUN athletics. Today we launch our new pride campaign, the rise of the matadors, which includes a new visual identity for our department. Our new images represents more than a logo or a brand. It represents an expectation, memories, relationships, and the pride that we all have in being matadors. In essence, our campaign represents a promise of what will be delivered and experienced as fans, alums, and supporters of our goal of comprehensive excellence. Courageous, determined, prideful, and confident, all words used to describe a matador and what we all demonstrate in our respective roles on campus. Our new visual identity allows us to tell our story in a more vibrant and compelling way, where we honor our rich history and celebrate our potential. Our new marks will aid in our unified goal of Matadors Rising. To the student pursuing a degree in humanities, to the faculty member in the College of Education, to the champions who work in physical plant management, and to the heroes who work in campus police services. Our pride campaign is not only about athletics. This is about celebrating our success as a university and all across campus. As we embarked on this project last October, our goal was to develop a distinctive iconic and enduring identity that reflects the history, current success, and aspirations of our athletic program. 
As you can see from the exhibits and the video, our new images all represent a sense of pride. Beginning with our new primary logo that reveals the matador with a CSUN script and redesigned cape. This replaces the matador behind a traditional block N represented throughout our department. Our new primary mark will be proudly displayed throughout our facilities with our first installment being in the Matadome this fall. Our new court designed to my right will improve our fan experience and allow us to elevate our in-venue game promotions and activities. I'm especially excited about incorporating the Matador statue as our secondary mark. Integrating this image allows us to preserve the tradition and history that resonates with so many of our stakeholders. The Matador statue embodies the courage, the elegance, and grace that our student athletes demonstrate in competition. In an effort to standardize references to our athletic teams, our identity now simply is CSUN Matadors, eliminating confusion created by multiple names, such as Cal State Northridge, CS Northridge, or Northridge. Our new nomenclature is without question unique and will allow us to communicate our message to our fans in a more consistent and effective way. Our new images will be used on uniforms, all team performance gear, our graphics displays in our athletic facilities, and will be used in all of our marketing materials. Anything produced by CSUN Athletics will align with our new design standards. If our goal is to be a national power, we need to first build pride in our own backyard. The second phase of our campaign will include billboards, pole banners in our local community, a social media and mobile device campaign highlighting all of our successes, and a concerted effort to connect with our Spanish-speaking students, fans, and alumni. With this goal in mind, Matadores Ascendiendo will be our primary messaging to our Latino supporters. Beginning this fall, our website will include press releases, game day promotions, and social media communications all in Spanish. To further underscore this unique feature of our Pride campaign, I am pleased to introduce Jorge Martin, Director of Communications from University Advancement, who will talk more about our reach into the Latino community. Jorge. Thank you, Dr. Martin. When we talk about Rise of the Matadors and CSUN Athletics, and how it's reaching, planning to reach out into the Latino population, well, I know where we speak because I'm a representative of that community. I'm a proud matador, graduated class in 1990. Uh, grew up in Pacoima. My parents are, came from Mexico. We came here, I was born a few months after they, they settled in Pacoima. And growing up, well, I gotta tell you, I was I'm a huge sports fan. Baseball, football, basketball were passions of mine growing up. And the teams that represented Los Angeles, well, you know, those were an extended family to me. You know, the communal aspect, that feeling that you get when everybody's, everybody's pulling from the same side. I mean, it was special. The way the city lit up whenever the teams were going for championships, it was special. We're all excited about the opportunity to see the CSUN Matadors begin to reach out in the Latino, Latino community. In, that surround us all throughout the, the, the San Fernando Valley. We want to speak to them in their language. We want to show those Latino families that from where I grew up in the eastern San Fernando Valley, from pockets to the west in Canoga Park, 
we want to show them that these could be their teams more than more than uh, more important that it's their university dr harrison talked about the fact that athletics can be a tool of engagement to the community we want to see these families to see these young men and women some of them that you're going to see here in, in a few minutes we want to see them excelling on the field of play but also in the classroom we want to see them search for to pursue that american dream because you know we've seen that athletics can sometimes open up a world of a world of dreams through that education through those through those opportunities that come through come through education my parents knew of that power they were not educated people but they knew that it was important to to see us to see all me myself and my siblings to move forward to be able to you know get an education and make something of ourselves you know when we recently had our our, our graduation ceremonies where nearly 10,000 students graduated fulfilling their that lifelong dream you know it kind of brought back those memories from from when I had the when I was able to walk across that stage. My mom still gets emotional about it. Dr. Martin talked about the fun in the fall semester where we're gonna launch in language communications for the Spanish speaking community. We're gonna have news releases that are gonna go out. Everything is gonna be able to be in Spanish in language. And to be able to do that, we're gonna be, we're gonna also be able to work with some of our some of our students, students like myself a few a couple decades ago coming from the arts, media, and communication school, be able to work with and do, do some of those Spanish translations to get that practical experience that's gonna be able to help them further their careers because as we can see how Los Angeles is such a melting pot, it is such an important thing to be able to communicate in both languages. That's why we wanna be able to reach out to those fans, to, to those new fans, those new families that, 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 that have settled in this area who are looking for a connection and maybe be able to see that you know what, those lifelong dreams could be possible to them through, through Cal State Northridge, through CSUN, through CSUN Athletics. And when we invite those people, you know, they can see the proximity not only of these great student athletes, but really just the opportunities, the American dream that's in front of them. As I mentioned, quite a few, you're gonna see quite a few of those athletes here today. You know, those same young athletes were once kids growing up in a community like this and they can see that they can dream on being able to fill those shoes i have three daughters so they all play in local soccer leagues i remember last uh last september the the men's soccer team came out and kind of showed the kids what that dream is like how they, in fact one of the one of the players uh came out of the same region that that my daughters played in the same aso region over here in chatsworth you want to see that you want you, you want to make that connection with the with, with the local community because of the fact that you know when these kids see those those ball players those athletes on the on the ball field they look like giants it doesn't matter that it's a, whatever it says across their front when they see CSUN, it could be they it, they may as well be a professional athlete in front of them but when they make that connection they become a they become human to them they become touchable they become a part of their own american dream that's what we want to. That that's what we want to see. We want to be able to connect with those young people and be able to, you know, have their families, have their parents feel like they're a part of this. That they want to be able to bring them in and see that how really special it is to be a part of this university. And when we do that, we're giving those kids an American dream. And when you give kids a dream, I mean, it, it could be limitless. Things can become very special to them. They things become attainable, and it really comes down to the fact that they will be able to attain that through their education. Hopefully someday they'll be able to walk across that stage like so many of those, so many of those young people did a couple weeks back. And when, we, and when we're able to connect with those, those children, they'll be able to know that they'll be able to reach those dreams right here in their backyard. And that uh, now take a few minutes to uh, speak in Spanish to uh, the Latino population, the Spanish speaking population who are here. Bienvenidos, bienvenidos amigos. Matadores ascendiendo, eso es lo que dijo el doctor Martín. Esas palabras son muy importantes, porque para la presidenta Harrison de, de CS, CSUN, esas palabras empiezan a deci, describir cómo los deportes univers, interuniversitarios pueden hacer gran conexión entre la universidad y la comunidad que la rodea. Eso es lo que estamos haciendo hoy en esta conferencia de prensa. 
estamos lanzando un plan único donde CSUN será la primera universidad que planea comunicar con la, con la comunidad de habla hispana en su propio idioma, en español, para que, nos, para que podamos hacer conexión sobre esos deportes interuniversitarios. Nosotros sabemos la importancia de esta meta en el este del Valle de San Fernando, al oeste en áreas como Canoga Park. Queremos que esas comunidades sepan que los matadores de CSUN son su equipo. Más importante es su universidad. Mi mamá y mi papá vinieron aquí de Jalisco, México. Y yo soy nacido y criado aquí en Pacoima, en una de esas áreas donde, donde de veras sí, estamos aquí nomás unas mías de aquí, de, de, esta, de esta universidad. Yo crecí viendo como la conexión entre los, entre lo, la, entre un equipo y la comunidad de Los Ángeles, como eso prende una, como una llama para, todo el, para todos Los Ángeles. Eso es lo que queremos hacer, queremos estabilizar esa pasión para los deportes interuniversitarios de CSUN. Queremos poder enseñarle a esta comunidad que es tan, 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 apasionada, tan apasionada que pueden ver y conectar con, este, con estos equipos para que puedan ver que los matadores están ascendiendo prácticamente en su yarda de atrás. Yo estoy trabajando con el Departamento de Deportes de CSUN y esta gran oportunidad también viene con grandes posibilidades. Muy importante, les podemos dar oportunidades a estudiantes que están en el, en lo, en los, en el Departamento de Comunicaciones de nuestra universidad para trabajar en esta campaña. Ellos harían traducción de comunicados de prensa. Ellos escribirán los, los reportajes de, para el sitio de internet. Esos estudiantes trabajarán en los medios de comunicación social como Twitter, Facebook y Instagram. Toda, toda esta experiencia les ayudará en sus futuras carreras. Igualmente de importante, podemos conectar CSUN con nuestra comunidad. Esperamos ver a más familias de cerca de aquí venir a nuestros partidos. Sus niños podrían recibir una camiseta que dice matadores en uno de estos juegos. A lo mejor su equipo juvenil podría jugar durante el medio en tiempo de un juego de básquetbol de los matadores. A lo mejor los niños y niñas se paren al, para el himno nacional al lado de los peloteros de un juego de béisbol o softball. A los niños pueden, pueden conocer nuestros atletas antes del juego de fútbol, soccer o voleibol. Porque cuando esos niños ven a esos atletas, ellos pueden ver que de veras sí son ser humanos. Y a lo mejor les dará a esos niños y niñas un meta o un sueño de ellos, de ellos mismos. Para que ellos algún día puedan en, el, puedan en el futuro seguirle a los, masado, a los matadores para que sigan ascendiendo. Muchas gracias. Ok, now for our special part, because we're going to deal with the student athletes, and I think you're going to like what we're going to do in the next few minutes, because uh, this is what it's all about, the 450 student athletes who, and I call them student athletes because they are students first, they excel in the classroom, and they're athletes second, they excel on the playing field, on the diamond, on the court, in the pool, uh, they excel everywhere, and it's always proud, and I know it, it's proud, win or lose, that our athletes do the best they can, and that's all we ask them to do is the best they can and enjoy the time we win games. When CSUN takes the field next year, the rise of the Matadors will include newly designed uniforms for the more than 450 student athletes who compete in 19 sports to enhance the new image of Matador athletics with consistency and colors, images, numerals, and lettering. And to give you an idea of what to expect, our members of the CSU Matadors teams, as they model without reservation, they're not shy about what you're gonna see in a few minutes. Okay, here we go, representing women's soccer, a Matador round of applause for Brittany Sakasian. All right. 
This senior to be was a starter for the Matadors this past season. Good snap there for the while longer. And she led the team in scoring. Her outstanding play helped CSUN to the Big West Championship and a berth in the NCAA tournament as a sophomore. In the classroom, she's also a success with a major in finance and real estate and a minor in economics. From women's soccer, Brittany Sakasian. All right, representing men's soccer, here is Juan Fernando Semayoa. Juan's family and friends don't have to attend a Matador soccer game. Juan hails from Simi Valley. Juan provided a valuable spark for the Matadors this past season. He helped the Matadors reach the second round of the NCAA tournament. The team was nationally ranked the entire season and it was ranked as high as third in the nation, the highest ranking in school history. Juan will be a sophomore midfielder when the Matadors take the field in the fall of 2014. Representing men's soccer, Juan Fernando Samayoa. All right, let's go indoors to the Matadome, representing women's volleyball, Sam Call. This senior-to-be middle blocker from Canyon Country helped the Matadors to the Big West Championship last season with 24 wins and advanced to the second round of the NCAA Tournament. Expect more success for the Matadors this year with several key returnings, including the talents of Sam Call, women's volleyball. Okay, let's give equal treatment. Representing men's volleyball is Travis Magorian. This senior to be from Aguri Hills at the Matadors who wins over USC, UCLA, and Ohio State this year. Matador volleyball is a family affair for the Magorians, as Travis's brother, Colby, is also a member of the volleyball team. Exciting times, men's volleyball. Travis McGorian is major in psychology. Stand up, take a little applause. Travis McGorian. Thank you, Travis. All right, let's go outside. One of our outstanding spring sports here at CSUN. It is softball. Caitlin Turner. This senior to be has patrolled the outfield for the winning Matador softball for the past four years. She was among the top hitters in the Big West Conference this year. She gets her softball talents from her mom, who was an All-American softball player here at CSUN. On her bio, on her bio at Cal State Northridge at GoMatadors.com, she lists her mom as her greatest hero. She's majoring in psychology, and if you look closely, you will see that Caitlin is wearing our new Matadores jersey. Let's hear it for softball for Caitlin Turner. All right, another outdoor sport, baseball. Let's hear it for Nick Murphy. All right, let's play ball. The senior-to-be was a catcher on the Matador baseball team this year. Murphy hails from Simi Valley, so many of his family and friends often attend many games at Matador Diamond. The weather's great year-round here, particularly in the springtime. Go out and watch Nick Murphy play some outstanding baseball. He's a major in communications. Play ball, Nick Murphy. All right, come on up, Simon. Representing women's basketball, Simon Lister. All right, this senior guard averaged 15 points this past, points per game this, this past season to lead the Matadors to a Big West championship. 
and a trip to the NCAA tournament in Seattle. This year, women's basketball. She starts the fast break. Go to coast to coast for scoring for CSUN. It begins with a dynamic play of Cinnamon Lister. Cinnamon is majoring in communications. You'll see her next year leading us to another championship and another trip to the NCAA tournament. Women's basketball, Cinnamon Lister. And last but not least, representing men's basketball, one of the top players in the West Coast, West, Big West Conference, and an All-American in 2014 and 2015. You all know him. He's one of the great players, one of the all-time great players at Northridge. Stephen Maxwell. Stephen, during the past season. Yeah, he likes to work out in the weight room. Yeah, he's, he's in great shape. He led the team in scoring and rebounding. He gained first team all Big West Conference honors, and he will be one of the catalysts on what promises to be an exciting, dynamic basketball team next season, next season here at CSUN. The senior to be in the communications major, and eventually he wants to go into broadcasting. You'll see him one day in the studio at ESPN. And finally, an outstanding student, communications major, all Big West academic. He is one of the greats, Stephen Maxwell. Okay, that gives you an idea of some of our outstanding student athletes here. And if you have a camera, if you want to take some pictures, you can do so at the end of this event. They're all standing in the back. Over here to our left, you'll be able to take some pictures and maybe get some autographs as well and maybe give some coaching advice to our coaches who are here today as well. So let's give one more round of applause to our outstanding student athletes. Okay, we're almost over, we're almost done, but we've got some important news also to give you. One more aspect of CSUN's new image is the re redesign of our website, gomatadors.com. This morning, CSUN Athletics launched its new website to improve the fan experience by simpl simplifying navigation and current information in a clean, concise program and package. Nearly 200,000 visitors access GoMatadors.com. Yes, there is a great interest in Matador Athletics. 200,000 visitors on our website, and last month we had more than 6 million hits on our website. This shows that Northridge Athletics is a force to be reckoned with now and in the future. The new features on GoMatadors.com includes the Fan Zone tab, the, right, the Recruits tab, a new feature called From the AD's Desk, featuring Dr. Martin, and also Matador's scoreboard. When you leave here today, when you go back to your office, or when you go home at, uh, later in the day, check us out. GoMatadors.com, you will like what you see. It's our daily newspaper, outstanding, GoMatadors.com. Okay, and one last aspect, one last social media uh, innovation we'd like to present to you. It is the outreach at CSUN Athletics. It is, the, it is the ACS Athletics mobile campaign. It's a cutting edge innovation that allows us to deliver custom content information directly to our fans here and around the world, around the world. This is the first mobile campaign that helps introduce the new era of CSUN athletics and features student athletes that modeled our, our new uniforms here today. Links to the new ACS athletics mobile campaign will also be available on gomatadors.com and also on our social media pages. We would also partner with ACS athletics in the new future 
to create mobile campaigns to, mo to promote big games and other athletic events. So those are just some of the many things that are going to be going on on CSUN Athletics, not only locally, nationally, but worldwide as well. All under the outstanding leadership of Dr. Martin. And I'd like to reintroduce Dr. Martin for some closing remarks. Dr. Martin. Thanks, Bob. Just in closing, um, I would like to thank some of the partners on campus who were instrumental in planning this event. Uh, first, I would like to thank President Harrison for your continued support of our mission and goals in athletics. Um, your belief and confidence in us is unbelievable, and I want to thank you so much for your support. I um, also want to thank um, Rob Gonzalez and his executive team, um, Jorge Martin, Jeff Noblick, Carmen Chandler, and others who helped us put together this event. So Rob, thank you so much for everything you've done as well. Um, uh, Rick Evans and the TUC has been phenomenal. Um, uh, Heather Cranes, Mike Lennon, and Susan Dickman um, all have been in the trenches with us to make sure that this event was a success. So I want to thank Rick and your staff as well. Um, I would like to thank Colin Donahue and Jill Smith um, for their part and, and all of the support you provided me through this process to make sure that we did it the right way. So thank you so much for that. Um, Juana Mora, um, assistant to the provost, and uh, she does some a lot of uh, critical work with diversity initiatives. I want to thank you for that support as well. Um, my senior staff, uh, starting with Don Ellerby, Ryan Swart Swartwood, Braden, uh, Kurt Jacy, Kevin Strauss, uh, Bob Vasquez, and Jeff Herbert. All of you have been outstanding um, in this process in making sure that this has been a success. Um, Merchandise featuring our new logo, our new images, will be available in our CSUN bookstore in the upcoming days and weeks. Um, our casual apparel will be made available to the general public through GoMatadors.com. Um, and with that said, I look forward to seeing you all at our sporting events. And thank you again for being here today and supporting us um, with our new Pride campaign and Gold Matadors. Thank you so much.